Real 2000. We're going to have a great show today. And with me, as always, my great partner. Say hello to Lucy. Yeah! What's up? <laughs> Ooh, pumped up today, Lucy? I am. My adrenaline's pumping. Let's do this. All right. Let's meet our contestants. Get right into the game. First up, we got Katie. Tell us about yourself, Katie. I'm in the seventh grade. Um, I love riding horses and reading books. Very cool. Congratulations. Nice to meet you here today. Good luck to you. Have some fun. Steph, yeah, how are you? Tell us about yourself. I'm good. Um, I'm in the seventh grade. I like playing baseball and football. I have a dog named Boogie, and I like traveling. Oh, Boogie, that's cool. I love it. Maybe you can win Boogie some prizes today, Steph. It's good to have you here today. Good luck to you. Great. Tell us about you, buddy. Hey, I'm, in, I'm in seventh grade. I like magic, snowboarding, and playing tennis. All right. Ooh. Well, we're very glad to have all of you here today. Here's how the game works. Spin the wheel, pick a letter. Letters in the puzzle, you get the points. You solve the puzzle, you get to keep those points, and you get a great prize. Now, those points are important because the person with the most points at the end of the game goes on to the bonus round. All right? Here's what we got on the wheel. First up today, we've got our physical game. That's Feed the Raptor. We also have www.real2000.com. Now, you land on that, a lucky emailer gets to win with you, okay? And you guys at home, don't forget, you can check out that website whenever you want. We also have the big loser spot on the wheel. That's over there. You hit that one, you get the big L, and we have to skip you. All right, sorry about that. We also have the creature beneath the wheel. <laughs> Creature, he comes up, eats all your points, and you lose your turn. All right, you guys got it? Yeah. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. Katie, you get to go first. That means you get to choose from our three categories before we spin. So let's take a look at the categories. Lucy. Here we go. We've got lab tests, everybody, and VIPs. All right, Katie, what do you like? Um, I think I'll go with VIPs. Okay. VIPs it is. We'll show us that puzzle. There now you spin go. the wheel. Let's get going. Come on, Katie. Yeah. Game time right away. Oh, no. Stay away. Yeah. Oh. Not Come on, Katie. Time. You got the L. We got to hit you with the loser right away. That means, Seth, you get a spin. Nothing personal, Katie. Let's go, Seth. It never is, Lucy. It's Nothing but love up. here. All right, Seth, it's game time. Come on, buddy. Beat the Raptor. Let's go. All right, Seth, welcome to the big Feed the Raptor. What you got to do is you got to grab the spoon behind you over here, dig deep in the swamp, grab the food, and stick it in the Raptor's mouth. Okay. Remember, this Raptor is a carnivore. He only likes meat. So each mm. time you get a piece of meat in his mouth, the randomizer shuffling up the letters over there will freeze, and that's the letter you get. You're going to start with 45 seconds, but right now, I'm going to give you a chance for 15 more seconds. Okay. Answer this question for me. Which one of these dinosaurs could fly? A, Brontosaurus, B, Pterodactyl, or C, Stegosaurus? B, Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl's right. You got yeah! 60 seconds, buddy. Grab the spoon. Get ready to dig in the swamp. On your mark. Get set. Feed him. Come on, Seth. Three pieces of meat in there. Let's take a look at the randomizer. You got an H, an L, and a V. Let's go back and stick them in the puzzle. Nice going. Time to feed me next. Woo! <laughs> nice job, Seth. That dinosaur is good and full. Now maybe the raptor will leave us alone. You got an H, an L, and a V. Now you can stick those in the puzzle, or you can spin and pick your own letter. What do you want to do? 
Um, I want to see if they fit in the puzzle. Let's try them, Lucy. All right. Well, I can give you one H, no L's and no V's, though. Hey. H. There it is. All right. That gives you 250. That's enough to buy a bow, or you can spin. Um, I'll spin. You got it. Come on, Seth. Nice playing, man. Seven hundred, Seth. May I have an R? No, I can't give you an R, Seth. All right, Brent. Your shot. Give it a spin. Come on, Brent. Pull a little magic, buddy. Oh! You hit the loser. Get the big L. We got to go to Katie. Go ahead. Come on, <laughs> cool. Okay, 250. Is there a T? Yes, one T. T. Come on, there it is. All right, categories <laughs> VIPs. You have 250. What do you want to do? Austin. Come on, Katie. Good thing. He's going to keep it going. Puzzle. <laughs> 150, Katie. S? Yes, there are two S's. Come on. Yes, yes. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Nice puzzle. Buy 150. You can buy a vowel. You can spin. Um, I'll spin. All right. Come on, Katie. Just spin. She's all over it, Lucy. She's on a roll now. Here we go. Coming up on the big points. Yeah. And you got a thousand. Is there an M? Yes, there's one M. Oh. A little dramatic pause for everybody. Woo. There you go. Now you got fifteen fifty. You want to buy a value? You want to spin? Um, can I solve? All right, you know it. Thomas Edison. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Good job, Lucy. Can you tell yeah. us about Mr. Edison? Oh, well, this inventor was a major contributor to electric lighting, the phonograph, and motion pictures. Give it up, yeah! If it weren't for Tom Edison, you wouldn't be able to enjoy things like great music from your CD player, light shows, and watching movies. Thanks, Tommy Boy, we really appreciate it. That's right. And Katie, since you did so well knowing Mr. Edison, we're gonna give you something really cool, something Thomas Edison probably helped invent, the electronic TV boombox. All right! <laughs> Very good. Nice job. And you guys stay right there because we got more Wheel 2000 coming up right after this.